More than 36 million Americans have filed for unemployment benefits in just two months. The official unemployment rate was 14 percent in April, but is likely much higher. The chairman of the Federal Reserve believes it could hit 25 percent, a level not seen since the Great Depression. The scope and speed of this downturn are without modern precedent, significantly worse than any recession since World War II. Finding a job in the current climate is tough, but career counselor Roy Cohen says it's not impossible. The reality is that people do get jobs. Even in depressions, uh, uh, folks have been reemployed. According to LinkedIn, there are many positions available right now, particularly in delivery and health care. Amazon, Instacart, and CVS are hiring in big numbers. Some restaurants, like this one in Rhode Island, are even having a hard time finding workers. Restaurant owners say generous unemployment benefits, some up to $1,000 a week, are a disincentive to work, especially now that waiters will make less in tips. I don't blame them. If they're not going to go back to work if they're going to wait on one table or two tables a night. It doesn't make sense. Cohen says that could be short-sighted, as the unemployment benefits will run out. Unemployment is going to end. So when it ends, you're going to be left with zero. And uh, the, the fact is that at least get started in this process because it will take a while to secure a position. Powell is concerned about the long-term impact of joblessness. Long stretches of unemployment can damage or end workers' careers as their skills lose value and professional networks dry up and leave families in greater debt. There is broad-based consensus in Washington that the high jobless rate is a massive problem, but there are differing views on how best to tackle the issue, with Democrats largely pushing for more stimulus and Republicans pushing for businesses to reopen as quickly as safely possible. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.